Hi everyone, this is an introductory video to show you how to do some solid meshless structural analysis inside of Onshape. Okay, I'm in Onshape and I have a very simple uh, single part model. And to do some solid, I have to do the following. So first I have to make sure it's available. So I go to the App Store, look for some solid cloud, pick that and hit subscribe. There's a free 14 day trial. Once you do that, you'll come back and into your Onshape document and you'll see that there's a new app added called SimSolid Cloud. So if I just pick that, it'll make a tab. And this tab now, I can take any of my geometry part or assembly studios, bring them in and analyze them. Uh, a couple things with the tab. First there, you can pick here, you can see there is a, a dashboard. Um, there's a project pane, there's settings, account info, help, and intro. Intro is very nice, gets you started the four steps of doing analysis. Help gives you much more details in terms of even, you know, theoretical details, some solid compared to traditional FEA, etc. cetera. Uh, and in settings, you can actually customize your environment. You can pick what type of unit you want, SI or IPS. You can pick the types of controls, some solid viewing model, on-shape viewing model, or even a SOLIDWORKS viewing model. You can do custom materials. Uh, you can even specify your appearance that if you want uh, the standard views to be Y to the top or Z to the top. Okay, to do an analysis, you go and you say add a project. You pick the part studio or assembly studio that you want to add in. So let's just do this one here. Now it brings it into the SimSolid project uh, tab. And you can see here's what, here's the same model. I have the, it inherits the material properties that were defined inside of Onshape. If there are multiple uh, parts you do connections, in this case, we'll just do an analysis. We pick the analysis type, structural, linear, nonlinear, modal, or thermal. Let's do a linear analysis. Let's pick our boundary conditions. I want to make it immovable at this end. And then what I want to do is I want to put an extensional pressure at this end. Now this actually is a, a benchmark model. It, it looks simple, but it's a little bit more difficult than you might imagine. First, you have this really long, narrow hole. And the idea is, can we capture this, the real rapidly changing stress gradient in that hole? Despite the fact that we're not creating a mesh. So let's try it. So we, we, we don't do a mesh, so all we need to do is solve. Uh, and now the following is going to happen. SimSolid will solve the model once. It'll examine the error. It'll adjust it, solve it again, examine the error, adjust it, solve it a third time. And because of that adaptive nature of the, of the solver, in spite of the fact I didn't have a mesh, in spite of the fact I didn't do any, you know, local grading of the solution around the hole, I still get a very good, um, let's look at maybe the uh, major principal stress. I get a good representation of the stress down that very long hole. Now, you can do the same thing in finite elements, but you could have to make sure you, you, know, you get the mesh density right to capture that stress detail in the right way. Let's solve it a second time now. So that's, that's one time. Now, if I want to solve a second model, uh, I can just go back in and open it up. But since I have this model saved, I may want to do a, what we call a design study. The design study is use the same set of boundary conditions, but on a different geometry. So let's see how to do that. I pick new design study right here. I pick the geometry I want. So in this case, I want this second set of geometry. And as this comes in, you'll see a couple things. Number one, it'll bring in the geometry. Number two, if there is any uh, connections, it'll apply them automatically. And number three, all the analysis definitions, it applies those. So all this you know, constraint there and load here, it's all set and ready to go you know, on this new geometry. So it makes it very easy to run you know, what ifs, the design iteration one versus design iteration two. So let's solve the second model. And again, it's solving it adaptively. Uh, 
Okay, there's the model. So we can compare that one to this one just by picking back and forth. Let's do one third design study. This time, let's bring in a little bit more geometry. So here I'll bring in this. Now a couple things. Now this time I have uh, actually multiple parts. I have uh, washers, nuts, bolts, uh, and I have uh, a couple a couple different uh, beams there. So in this case, I have to first create connections. I can do that automatically. Let's just make it uh, one millimeter tolerance on both gap and penetration and find all the connections in the model. Now you can see we have those connections there. Now I can come up here and um, my analysis was copied, but you'll see that there's a few things it didn't know about. So in this case, it doesn't know about this new geometry, but if I want to edit, it's very simple. I can either just pick here and say edit, or I can just double click and I can just add that additional face there. Okay. For my constraint. And let's do the same thing on the load in the back, double click, add this additional face there. Okay. So now we can run that model. And again, the idea is that we can get uh, a very rapid a viewpoint of changing design geometry. Okay, so there's there is the results on the assembly. So assembly, uh, part part two, part one, um, all done all done in conjunction with uh, Onshape, all done. Meshless. Thanks for watching.